keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about the best lockdown builds for beginners. And again, when I say for beginners, I'm talking about individuals that maybe this is your first time playing NBA 2K24, or just 2K in general, or maybe you are somebody that's that playing, that's that has been playing 2K, but maybe you've been a guard, or maybe you've been a center, and you're just looking to transition into being a lockdown. And again, Ankh is here to give you an easy, seamless transition to being a lock. So let's just get right into it. Um, doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. I decide to go on left-handed because I'm left-handed IRL. Um, there's multiple ways that you can go about being a shooting guard. I mean, um, a lockdown. But I go 6-6. Now, the reason why I've been going 6-6 with all these builds is because 6-6 is the new 6-1, 6-9. Meaning, like, you get the most badge um, attribute distribution at 6-6, okay? Now, of course, you can get other animations outside of 6-6. But for what we're looking for... All you need is 6'6", six, six, okay? Now, um, for our um, weight, we're going 198 pounds. Of course, you know we got to max out our wingspan to 7'3". Most lockdowns, you basically want to max your weight, your wingspan out. Now, what you could do, if you want to go 7'2", you could. And now only th the only thing I'll do is give you an 84 three ball. But that will give you just, you know, blinders and that type of deal. But I'm going 7'3", because I feel like an 83 three ball should be enough to be able to shoot. All right? Um... Then what we're going to do here is, I got to reset this, um, is going to be going 87 on the driving dunk, okay? We're going 87 on the driving dunk because we want to be able to get contact dunks with this build. Now, I know some of you might be like, well, this is a lockdown. Why in the world would you want to have contacts? Why would you want to have any finishing? Well, again, we're talking about individuals that are just becoming, you're trying to be a lockdown. Most likely, you're running with randoms, right? Or you don't have a dedicated team. So you got to be able to do a little bit of everything, regardless of what position you're playing, right? Because you do not know who's stepping on the dots with you. You might have to be asked to dribble. You might be asked to finish at the basket. You might have to be a spot up. You might have, listen, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the people that are watching this video and you run with randoms, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't have a build that's a specialty build. Like for me and, and individuals that have a dedicated team, yes, you can make a, a lockdown with no playmaking. You can make a lockdown with no finishing. And just focus on defense and shooting in your physicals. But if you're running with randoms, you're not able, you don't have that luxury, okay? So we're going 87 here on the driving dunk. We're going 70 on the driving layup, right? And that's it, right? You're able to finish at the basket, and that's going to be a big thing, okay? Now, on when it comes to shooting, again, like I said, we're going to max out our three-point shot. And then we're going 80, 70 on the mid-range. And then we're going 76 on our three ball, all right, I mean, on our free throw for the wreck on players now this is look what we have here see now you see you have blinders on silver right the big one here is of course gonna be catch and shoot corner specials green machine those three right there are gonna be the big ones um because obviously that's gonna help you as a spot up all right claymore is another one of course if you're sitting there as a spot up and you're just sitting in the corner you really want to do that and again if you want to get really toxic you can use open looks which improves the player's ability to make wide open jump shots that's going to be huge as far as getting open. And, of course, you have Spot Finder here. And this will be something that you'll get. And this is how you can get find your open shots. And you will be able to get that on silver also, okay? So that's what we have there. Then when we come on the playmaking side, again, we're going 85 on the ball hill. Now, I know this is pretty high. But, again, running with randoms, you're going to need that. 75 speed with ball is basically unlocks the Michael Jordan dribble style whenever you can get that. And then, of course, the 75 um, pass accuracy, okay? So... You want to have the decent pass accuracy. I know this is my, some might think this considered this road kill, but at the end of the day, like I've been preaching, you have to have the ability to do a little bit of everything as a um, individual that doesn't run with teammates. Okay, obviously I make builds that are more so specialized towards the casual player, so this is what it's going to be. I would obviously I do drop. You know, if I'm dropping like my best, then of course you know that could be ones that are going to be specialized. Okay. But again, we're, try we're talking about how we can make it to where every single um, individual that's casual that, that can get on the game and play, this is what you're looking at, okay? Um, then on the perimeter defense, we're going all the way up to 93, all right? We're going 93 because we want to get clamps on gold, 
all right and we'll come back to that because obviously we can't do it now because we have to do our physicals and then we're going 85 on the steel that's going to give us glove on silver interceptor on silver and right stick ripper on silver respectfully and then we're going to go 70 um eight on the block and that's going to give us of course chase down on silver and pogo stick once we again do our physicals so we got everything kind of goes back to we have to do our physicals first maybe i need to start doing the physicals first before i do these that might be the best bet all right now speed is very important for a lockdown so we're going 85 on the speed um now just by default you will get speed booster and hyperdrive on silver so if you happen to be a lockdown that can dribble a little bit but guess what you had those on silver acceleration same thing we're going up to 77 on our acceleration that gives you your fast feet on gold so again um acceleration has absolutely nothing to do with um the most important things for i mean okay it's acceleration has the only thing that has to do with is with the ball in your hand so for a lockdown the most important thing here is going to be your speed your strength your stamina your steel and your perimeter defense okay so i don't want people to get it get it twisted acceleration has no no input on you as a lockdown because it only matters with the ball in your hand okay the when you're playing defense the ball isn't in your hand right so your 93 perimeter defense is also associated with your lateral quickness how you move left and right so you want to make sure you have this is pretty high and then your speed is with you without the ball running up and down the court and it helps with you being able to turn stop left right go up that type of deal also is going to be associated with speed so the higher you get your speed the better i feel like 85 to 90 is a really good sweet spot all right then on your strength of course we go 63 because this is how you get your uh, gold clamps so as you see right there and your physical handles i always try to get physical handles if i can we go 75 on the vert because that's going to give us our um pro dunk contact dunk animations along with it'll give you your chase down and your area wizard and your posterizer okay so you'll be able to get all that and then of course we're going to max out our stamina all with 99 so we can get not only our handles for days oops our handles for days on silver but you also will get hall of fame 94 feet and your workhorse hall of fame 94 feet is pretty decent when it comes to just pressing down the court it just harasses the ball handler um i think it helps and it helps with leading to potential steals when the 94 feet is activated when i usually see the 94 feet activated that means i got a good body up i usually will spam square or use right stick ripper okay so this is what we're looking at right here again as you can tell look at all these gold badges you have on defense again it's going to be really good pick dodger all right you even get off ball pass hall of fame um you get challenger ankle braces clamps like i said you get all the silver badges for steel um on the playmaking side you get silver playmaking badges you even get ankle breaker which again i think is pretty dope all right and then again you have really high three ball so usually you have like a 75 to 79 three ball for a lock you actually will have it at 83 so i think this is pretty solid all the way around and then of course here you have it my nephews and nieces we have i'm not sure what the name be it's something i think it's the inside out or something like that because you do have a high three ball um but it's again it's very versatile all the way around a two-way inside out threat okay so yeah so there you have it so let me know in the comment section what you think about the two-way inside out threat is there anything that you would do differently um if you're all somebody that plays with randoms i was just curious to know like what do you think about the build like is this something that you could go on the court and feel comfortable being able to run with randoms with or if you, even if you have a dedicated team you just like the name and you feel like hey this is actually some good attributes i like it what do you think about the build right but other than that this is your favorite old head uncle jimmy i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man I'm out.